Teach our kids not to talk to strangers and certainly not to get into a stranger's car, but a new business coming to the valley will do just that. It's called Hop Skip Drive and think of it as an Uber for kids and it's live in Las Vegas as of today. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears looks at the service and whether or not it's safe. Club soccer, ballet lessons, how about football practice? Those take up giant chunks of time for parents. Running the kids back and forth is especially taxing if you're balancing work with it. A new rideshare service says it will do that for you. First, as a parent, I mean, I'm kind of excited about the concept of what they're doing. It does fill a need. I have three kids, they're all in soccer, working full time, so schedule's crazy. My husband and I are always on the go, um, and sometimes one has to be at this location, one has to be at this location. Hop Skip Drive, a rideshare service for kids, says it's got your back with your kids in their back seats. They take children as young as six with booster seats provided. The company operates in seven states and was founded five years ago by three California moms. We started with what do we as parents want to see to feel comfortable putting our own children in a hop, skip, drive ride. I think it's a wonderful service conceptually, but I think there's a lot of things that we need to look into. Um, you know, I'm, let's just say that I'm not going to be one of the test cases. Las Vegas attorney and father Matthew Hoffman. Who's regulating these companies? It's a gray area. Under Nevada law, if you take care of five or more children within a 24-hour period, you're a daycare facility. So does this fall under the jurisdiction of the Department of Health and Human Services? Um, and do they have to comply with their background checks for employees? I would hope they do. According to Clark County, Hop Skip Drive is not regulated under Nevada child care laws, even though their drivers, which they call care drivers, are quite literally caring for children as they go from point A to point B. So we are regulated as a rideshare company, as a transportation network company. Um, however, you know, because we are carrying kids, we go above and beyond those regulatory requirements and tend to mirror some of the child care requirements. Co-founder Joanna McFarland says more than 95% of their drivers are female and they must have at least five years of caregiving experience. These are people who are used to working with kids. They are moms. Their teachers, their nannies. Every driver applicant undergoes a third party background check and a fingerprint based criminal history check against state and FBI databases. Once a driver is hired, the company continuously receives updates to background and driving records. Hop Skip Drive also meets all drivers in person. So we do far more than Uber and Lyft. We also do far more than most families do to vet a nanny or a babysitter. They require bright orange uniform shirts, have a certified mechanic do car inspections, and have a special system. Hi, Nico. My name is Gail, Miss Gail. Hi. And your password is? A code word set up by parents to make sure the right driver is matched to the right child at pickup. Plus, parents get alerts so they can track their child's ride in real time via GPS. Also have a safe ride support team that is like air traffic control that is monitoring all rides in real time as well and can be there to help a parent or a care driver um, as needed. Um, and so we do far more than anyone else in the industry to ensure safety. Safety has been a big concern with traditional rideshare companies. Hoffman hopes Hop Skip Drive will eliminate what he calls black market Uber and Lyft. Which is underage kids using Uber and Lyft, which they are not supposed to do. Uber and Lyft both have policies against drivers picking up unaccompanied children. Uber and Lyft, they publicly state that the drivers are supposed, supposed to not give them rides and report it mm -hmm. uh, so that the accounts can be suspended or whatever. And we all know in your investigative reporting show that it, it doesn't stop it. We uncovered some very disturbing cases of minors being assaulted by Uber and Lyft drivers on rides their parents had booked for them. We'll show you what we found tonight at 11. Plus, like it or not and use it or not, you're paying for the service. Why taxpayers will foot up to a quarter million dollar bill for hop, skip, drive this year and what two key safety measures are missing. Join me tonight at 11. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.